weird for you being a second year guy here, but other than Jeremy, you've played more tight end in your life than anybody in this room. If, do you find yourself in a position where you're actually teaching Cade and G and you know these guys how to play the position that you grew up playing? Yeah, yeah. I never really thought about it like that. Now that you just brought it up, I guess I because Cade just kind of moved over, so I have been playing the same amount as him. But yeah, uh, I have been helping like the younger guys and like Sam Hart and me and G will have conversations since he just came over and Cade as well. So yeah, I definitely do try to teach them. Only being still a young guy myself. What's been the biggest adjustment for you coming from high school to this? I mean, obviously, we didn't get to talk to you last year in the COVID year of being freshman. But now that you've been here a while, you got your feet firmly planted. How do you feel like that transition is going? Oh, um, it was it was tough at first because in high school I just played straight out. I was flexed out, spread the whole time. I didn't do really in, any inline blocking, so I didn't really have to be too big. So getting my strength up was definitely the biggest transition that I had to make so I could be a complete tight end and do all the jobs and not just kind of like flex out around the perimeter so I could be down in the trenches as well. You know, you probably a similar uh, career path to Jeremy in terms of how you guys were using high school versus what you're trying to become at Ohio State. I mean, how much of a resource has Jeremy been to see the guy who spent pretty much the entire high school career split out long? Yeah, uh, my relationship with him started when I was being recruited and I was on my official visit. I was hanging around him because Coach Wilson did bring it up. That's how Jeremy was, and that's kind of we are the same body type coming out of high school. So he's he was helping me then, and day one when I got here, he's been my big brother, kind of helped me along the process of gaining weight, how it like what it takes to be become a complete tight end. And you look at him now, so he's definitely a good guy to look off of and learn from. How's that physical progression going for you right now? I mean, you look physically bigger, but I haven't seen you in a while. You look physically bigger. Yeah, uh, it's been going well. I struggled for about last summer, then through the season, I was struggling gaining weight. I was just kind of steady around the 30, 35 area. Then during spring ball, actually, I was still around 33, but right now I was, I'm was i steady at 245, so I gained around 15 pounds from the winter and spring to now. talked a little bit about how Jeremy Rucker was an older brother to you and I know a lot of other guys have come in here and told us about the brotherhood that this team has so I'm just curious like what what sort of things has Jeremy told you or what sort of things does he lead you in off the field what does that brotherhood look like inside of the tight end oh um, yeah I, I look up off of Jeremy a lot um he's helped me with many things of gaining weight um he helps me meal prep talks about that help me gain weight helps me to like maintain my body, recovery, things like that, and also how to, he's helped me with plays, just learning the playbook and everything. He's just helped me just kind of keep my mind right and just start grinding. What do you think is the expectation that the coaching staff has for the tight end position this season, not only from a guy like Jeremy, but for the guys like you that'll help him with that rotation? Yeah, um, well, losing Luke Farrell and Jake Hausman last year, our tight end room was really old and we had a bunch of veterans, so it was it was up here last year, and Coach Wilson actually talked about that the other day. He's like, there's no reason for it to drop. The expectation's still up here, and he's still going to coach us is how like, they played last year. And he wants, he's really trying to push the young guys to make those strides. Hey, Joe, I saw you playing this game, so you look nothing on what you look like right now. Congratulations to the Yeah, thank but you. More importantly, I know you were always listed as a tight end, and I was always enjoying the play here. But you didn't do a lot of tight end things in high school. Yeah. Just because, I mean, you're not going to have your best athlete. Yeah. What is the transition like when you actually now have to be tight end? Oh, yeah, like you said, I was, you saw me play, so I was flexed out the whole time. Yeah. I, I didn't you do any, receiver, yeah, right? yeah, I was a wide receiver, but I was listed as tight end. I didn't do any inline blocking. So I was talking about earlier how I had to get bigger physically. And even though I'm still kind of lighter and I was lighter last year, I'm not really afraid of contact. So I'll try to like throw my head in there and hit it create some movement, but obviously since I wasn't as big, it wouldn't really work out too well. So just getting my body bigger, stronger, that's definitely been helping me. So how do you go over How can he actually help you at that point when you're not really doing any of the things that you're going to do? Um, are you, can you like? I mean, since you're, obviously you're sending Kevin Wilson to him all the time. But you're yeah. Still 
Yeah. But you're not necessarily sending him film of tight end work. Yeah. So how can he help you in your development before you get on campus if you're never doing the thing you're going to do oh, when yeah. you get on campus? Uh, yeah, so during quarantine, after my senior season when uh, COVID, like, when we had that three-month shutdown, he was reviewing my film and obviously saw how I was a wide receiver. And he said I was pretty good in the pass game and perimeter blocking. And he's like, obviously, you're going to need to be a complete tight end and you do inline blocking as well. So. Gaining weight, he was pushing me to gain weight, get stronger physically, and uh, he would send me like footwork drills that I could do to help with my technique to when I would have to inline block, so that's what we would do.